Hey guys, it has been a minute since I've uploaded to this channel, but I found something that I wanted to talk about more like complain and rant about, so I figured why not? Let's do it. So, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen my other video about uh, the door slamming nosy neighbor, um, then you know what this channel's about. If not, I will put a card somewhere in the upper corner if it's possible in a video from my cell phone and you can go check that out. Anyways, so today's video is on something that I found when I was looking at Twitter, to be honest. I was scrolling through Twitter and I um, came across this post and I thought I'd, I might as well just read the comments because I think it was board work or something. Anyways, um, so I read the, through the comments and I'm like, what is going on here? People actually believe this. So what the thread was, was a, um, Sephora was doing a sweepstakes giveaway whatever uh we call it a giveaway in canada i believe i've heard them called sweepstakes in us i'm not 100 percent sure of the correct terminology but y'all know what i'm talking about so it doesn't matter so it was for a million points and in the fine print it was seven hundred and eighty thousand or something after you paid taxes if you were a canadian citizen i mean i would still take seven hundred eighty thousand dollars anyway so they were supposed to have done the draw for August 29th, and apparently they have yet to do that. So people were extremely upset about this. They were actually divided. Either it was extremely upset or it was eh, whatever. So the next comment, not only had they not done the draw, which was irking people, but the biggest thing was the amount of points that were required to enter this because yes, you have to use your Sephora Beauty Insider points to obtain entries. I believe it was a thousand points for five entries, uh, 500 points for three, and each entry was two or 300 points for one. So obviously buying the thousand was the most advantageous. And if you were a Rouge member, cause you get 1.5 points for every dollar spent, clearly the theoretical number you needed would be cut in half. Cause you could you still have to spend the thousand, but you would obtain the thousand much faster. So people were extremely upset about this. I saw comments about how expensive this was, that points are designed to, that sweepstakes rather, are designed to separate uh, people from the horde of points that they're apparently sitting on. And then other people went so far as to call people that entered this giveaway stupid because of the amount of points needed in order to enter 300 points would be the equivalent if you do it dollar for dollar of 300 dollars whereas some people's argument was you could buy a lottery ticket for three dollars and have the same chance of winning a million okay first of all this is entirely not the same thing and people need to go buy themselves brains with the sephora points if that's possible i know the sephora program sucks it does the gifts for canadians especially are crap the value of the points is garbage but if you're sitting on a horde of points because you've just collected them over time and you are a rouge member and you buy during the three times points events and whatever they add up just because they do what people need to remember is points are free it's an added bonus on top of what you already purchased so you already get the product that you're actually paying for and then you get these points on top of that are you still with me Okay, so we're all still together. When you buy a lottery ticket, you pay for that cardboard or piece of paper that then you scratch things off of and you probably don't win because the odds of winning are pretty terrible. The odds of winning the Sephora giveaway would be pretty terrible too, but you at least got the product which you originally paid for. With the lottery ticket, you just get that piece of paper and you chuck it. You don't get something pretty to put on your face or to wash your body with or scrub your lips or do whatever. So we can't, necessarily equate points to a real dollar value and when i was working at another place way back in the day we had the same thing it was a point spend a dollar get some number of points and people would always come up to be like this big screen tv is whatever seven hundred fifty thousand points that's like spending seven hundred fifty no it's not you can't say dollar for dollar this is point value you already bought all your f merchandise so you're getting this as an added bonus over time. You never would have got this if you didn't spend the money originally and buy your products originally. So that's my problem with this. And then I even saw people saying, well, do we get our points back if, if we don't win? Girl, why in the hell would they give you your points back if you don't win? You're buying the opportunity to win. Let's grow some brains here. I don't understand that logic. Now, the fact that they haven't drawn a winner is incredibly shady because 
I've seen other sweepstakes or giveaways where it's like 50 points for an entry of $500. And I've always skipped those. Not once have I ever seen a winner announced, which is a little shady. They should be announcing the winner because if this is just designed to extract points from people, which let's be real, it is. And they're not actually doing a legit giveaway. That would be fraud. And I will want my damn points back too. So we can understand from people's perspective of not getting the draw that they would want their points back if no winner was ever chosen and this was all just like some bs that i understand but points returned because you didn't win no you're buying the chance to win no matter how slim it is right which if you spent ten thousand points your whole nest egg let's call it on this this lottery giveaway whatever that would be a little silly. I, it would. Uh, that's a lot of points to spend on something like this where the odds are stacked against you. Let's face it, they're really low. A lot of people will be entering. If you spent only 2000 if you had 10 you could part with 2000 Now, I understand the argument that people with more points are going to be able to get a better odds of winning and whatever because they just simply can add more. But they have spent that money already. Now, you can't really say, oh, it's because they're rich. Y you don't know that. Maybe they're just shopping during 20 times points per, per, per perfume or whatever it is and buying all Christmas gifts of perfume. It is possible. Maybe they use their gifts, uh, their little bonus gifts, their birthday gifts as a 250 point equivalent instead of actually getting those dinky little samples. Possible. Sometimes if you have an issue with Sephora and you ring into their hotline, they give you points to shut you up. It's possible, right? So not necessarily do people only equate points because they're rich. Also, if you have a family account, like more than one person, they try to avoid doing this now. But if more than one person uses the card, because let's face it, you can do that. I, they try it, but it's to stop you, but you can. Or you're a makeup artist, naturally your points are going to like grow a cure faster so i don't like that argument of rich people are going to have more more odds of winning because rich like rich point holders when i say rich point holders like people i mean people that spend the money they're not necessarily going to throw their points at it you know what i mean they're not going to throw every point they necessarily have at it you also could write in and you could put your name address and all your details on a card and mail that to sephora 45 cents in the u.s is what i had read was mailing great canada it's way more ridiculous it wouldn't make sense to mail stuff in and really are they going to count those entries? I would wonder about that because they say you can, no purchase necessary, but like, are they going to count them? Someone had mentioned that they had wrote in 100, 100 letters with their name and posted it at 45 cents. Now you're physically using real money to enter this contest. Like That's real money. That's not point money. That's real money. So now we're circling back to you're spending hard earned cash like the lottery and not getting a product for it. So that is silly. People are like, oh, it's the best way to enter it. It's, you know, you can, you can send it in, whatever. No, because you're making the false uh, narrative in your brain that these 300 points is $300. It's not. You got 300 points of pro $300 of product, 300 points on top of that as a bonus to that. I know this seems so silly to, to be ranting and raving about, but I just can't understand why people actually believe these things you know like they actually think that this is owed to them in format of points because they spent the money there girl you guys are lucky they even offer a point system no matter how crappy it is because in the end you get a small bonus for it so we might as well be happy with the small little bonus we might as well recognize that points are not dollar per dollar yes you have to spend that but you don't get that in return because you're getting a bonus be happy with the bonus, buy your fancy Sephora product, enjoy your fancy Sephora products. And then when something comes up that you do like in that pitiful rewards bazaar, or if you want to enter a contest, go ahead and enter the damn contest. Just be smart about it and don't complain if you don't win and want your points back. Anyways, guys, this rant is getting a little long. I'm going to be late for work because I just looked at the time. So I am going to get in there and I will see you guys on the next rant video whenever that's going to be.